Hey everyone, it's Scott here from SEQ Sports Fishing Estuary Charters and Tuition and here we are on the uh, beautiful Gold Coast waterways this morning, a stunning spring morning and today I'm going to bring you guys with me for a bit of a fish and to showcase some of the uh, fishing we have here on the Gold Coast, especially for this springtime, summertime that we, that's coming up as well. So um, what we're going to do today is one of my favourite ways of fishing, which is um, canal fishing. Um, the Gold Coast is littered with thousands of canals and it's pretty much known Australia wide for, for that style of fishing here and it's so good. Like out of all my fishing that I do, this is what people want to come back to or want to learn how to do it because it's um, a bit of a secret around here. Not too many people do unless you really know your tournament stuff and that. But it holds some really great fishing and the way we catch them is just so good. So. Um, especially the next, um, you know, before spring, summer, autumn time, generally what happens on these fish is that they, they spread out a lot in the system. And um, through winter they're spawning, and when they spawn they, they feed up and they sit out in the deeper parts a lot. And, and what happens is a lot now is that in springtime and summer they, they, they kind of get off that, we call a post-spawn bite and they push up into the back rivers and creeks and canals and that's where a lot of the bait is and especially at this time of year as well we're in a kind of a drought at the moment so when that water is really clean not a lot of rain all the bait all these fish will push up the back of the systems as well so it's a really good way of fishing it gives you another um, dimension to fishing as well because sometimes these broad water areas and stuff don't fish as well at certain times of the year and this is where the fish are so we'll go through it today sh showcase how good it is and um, hopefully catch some good fish rocket So here we are guys um, in one of the beautiful canal systems here on the Gold Coast and what we're going to go through now quickly is some of the gear that we use and the, the lures that we use in these areas and there's over my years in tournaments and fishing these areas you know I, I kind of worked out that there's a select amount of lures that I use um, and techniques that we use to catch these fish and that's one really good thing of surface with um, sorry canal fishing is that basically there's um, a number of different ways to catch these fish and what I find is that every single day these fish are on something different okay they're kind of feeding a different way and what controls these fish is the conditions so you know certain certain conditions on the day no wind high wind sunny cloudy certain tides certain moon phase so these fish will change a lot to suit that so it's important to kind of learn different techniques and tactics and this is what I teach on every single charter so Firstly, what I usually do on every single chart if someone comes out for me is that the first half an hour is a lot more of a tuition on, on gear setup. So it's really important to kind of get that balance right, get your gear right, um, you know, your line class select. And this is something we really go into detail with a lot when you come on onto a charter. So unlike most charters where you just drop a line down and hope for the best, <clears throat> you know, we go through the, th the three main key factors, which I call it, which are understanding your area, you know how it works understand the conditions and tides on the day and then also your gear selection and setup which is the three main factors that I always talk about so I find if you kind of get one of those factors wrong you kind of you know the chance of catching fish consistently is, is pretty low so um, it's really important to understand all that so what we're going to go through today is some of the lures that, that I use in these systems and I don't change a lot these days because I know this stuff works and it's, it's that work consistency that you work off. So when you're doing tournaments, you know, when I'm guiding, guiding like a tournament every day to me, it's important to be consistent and catch that consistent number of fish every day. So I don't like trying new things on charters because, you know, to me customers paying to come out for a day, spending their hard earned money, I'm not going to say let's just try a new lure today. I'm going to basically bring you out into what I know and what catches fish consistently. So, and the same thing in tournaments as well. I've always had a saying is you don't try something new in a tournament. You basically, if you go to a tournament and you fish, um, 
basically what you know, um, that's what you go to a tournament for. Practice days are for days for learning different gear. So, so what we're gonna go through with one of my favorite ways of fishing, and it's the most visual way of fishing, is throwing surface lures. So you can see here, these are the surface lures that we use, okay? Um, basically, this is a Baste Sugar Pen. It's one of my favorite surface lures. And I really like them bright colors. So yellow, oranges, um, you know, that kind of color where the fish can see the lure clearly. I'm not a fan of clear lures and surface lures in the canals and stuff. I find the fish have to see it. So it's a really good little system um, that we use. <clears throat> Um, we have eight hooks on these. You've got two trebles and you've got a trailing hook here. These are customized to what I like. Really important to have good trailing hooks. That's where most of the fish hit. And what it also, it's like a prawn whisker sometimes when you swim back, they, they usually nip at that a lot. So um, I won a lot of big tournaments on that. I've caught everything on this lure from big brim to mangrove jacks, to big flathead, to big, um, big trevally, everything Taylor. It's probably my number one surface lure to use. So they're not cheap, but they you don't lose so many of them too. It's pretty rare you lose one of these. But um, yeah, phenomenal lure. It is a technique involved to, with these gear. A little bit more technical compared to some styles of fishing. But basically I teach on every charter and normally in, within an hour, everyone gets it. Um, and you know, there's a certain technique involved to use these lures, but once you get it, you've got it for life. So. Like I said, it's like rubbing your head, scratching your tummy at the same time with some of these techniques. The other lures, the other technique that I use here a lot, is what we call a, a twitch bait or a crank bait. Um, I kind of invented this technique about 12 years ago, and I won a lot of big tournaments on this lure um, and this technique. I won the Australian Brim Championships twice, uh, sorry, once in Sydney Harbour. I've won a lot of big tournaments around Australia doing this, and that's using atomic brim shad. See that lure there, that's about a few trips old. Um, phenomenal lure for brim, mangrove jacks, trevally, sensational lure. It's caught me such big fish and won me so many tournaments. Um, special technique we use this, I'm not gonna get too involved in some of my tricks, that's what you kind of want to charter for, but basically just a general rundown is that, you know, this is a brim shad. So, um, you kind of in these canals, you don't want the chubby lures, you want the more slim lures. That's what these fish are chasing. It's like a reaction bite that we call it. So this is more around the pontoons, where the surface lure is more behind the pontoons. And this is more gets them underneath the pontoons and we shake them a lot and that's how we usually get them. So um, caught a lot of big mangrove jacks on that lure there. The other way we fish in the canals is just plastics, simple plastics. Um, to me, when we're fishing canals, soft plastic sometimes is a bit of a, a boring way of fishing. I love to throw surface and hard bodies because you normally get the better fish that way. But sometimes the fish are a little bit shut down and I find that the plastics work better on a shut down bite. So the difference is with the surface and hard bodies is that they're more like a reaction bite. We're trying to get those fish to bite and to feed. And normally we're trying to get one active and the rest normally get active with them. Um, the difference with a plastic is that you throw them in and there's a dropping lure. So most of these fish here take a lure dropping or sitting, okay? And what you'll find is, is that it's kind of like a reaction bite. They usually take it on the drop a lot. Um, so I find sometimes on plastics is that normally when I'm getting fish on plastics, they're a bit smaller um, because they're a bit stupid. The smaller fish are a bit dumb where the bigger fish are more smarter. So. Generally, you know, sometimes you've got to throw the plastic just because of the way the fish are on the day. You can't change that. But um, throwing really lightweight jig heads in here, okay, little hidden weights, okay, um, because you want to get that lure to slowly sink because most of the fish are up underneath that pontoon there. So, um, lure wise, there's a few lures that I normally use. Um, probably, and no, this is no secret to be honest, but probably the, the best canal lure plastic you can get is a, is a Berkeley Krabby. It's, it's phenomenal. Like if you're not throwing that to me, you're not really have much of a chance. Um, the Berkeley Krabby's been around for years. It's a camo color. I've caught everything on that lure, you know, from 90 centimeter flathead in the canals to big mangrove jacks, to brim, trevally, everything. And what you're trying to do with this lure is you're trying to basically match the hatch. You're trying to get the lure in there, dropping it down, and that's how you normally get them. So, if you use M3 techniques, 
you'll definitely catch fish in the canals. But there is, I said, there is a pattern we use, there's a technique we use, and uh, if you come on a charter, we go through all that and teach you. So let's get fishing and try and get some good fish for you. fish and two carps. It's another nice little little brim. You see this time of year. It's a little crankbait, not a big one, it's a one. But you can see how um, skinny they are. Give me a little bugger. They're very skinny this time of year and that's because they're in that post-spawn period. So um, generally see here if I hold him he's in a very skinny fish so that's what you call a post spawn bite um, they decondition through the summer and spring months and then sometimes they're a little bit trickier here and there to catch but yeah there you go number one one thing when you're kind of fishing in these canals it's really important to use your ears and listen I can actually hear fish feeding on the pontoons also see a lot of bait jump around. I had a big eagle ray jump in the canals just before. It scared the crap out of me. But that's a good sign that fish are active. Okay, so um, I can see fish feeding through here. I've already pulled five or six fish to start the morning. I hope to find some bigger ones, but really important to basically see if you can hear the fish. You also see them a lot as well. So um, hopefully we'll get some better fish and hope we get that mangrove jack and trevally as well. Jack, it's a cracker, man. Sorry, guys, can't see much at the moment. I've got a big jack on. Just to get him out. He's trying to rub me on the pontoons right there. 
good art. Everything's going against me here. Oh, good Jack. The surface. Come on, baby. Come on, man. What a, what a hit. That's why you come in the canal for. He had me wrapped up. Right. Sorry, guys. That was insane. Insane hit. He had me wrapped up. It shows you six pound. Sorry, the camera's a bit weird. It shows you on six pound what you can catch. Wow, what a strike. He's out. That thing had me buried. Absolutely buried. Oh, what a hit. Get him out, take our time. He's a nice one too, he's a good fish. 350. He's right there, I see him. Yes! <laughs> That's what you're coming to get out for. Holy moly. On surface. He had me wrapped up on everything. Woo! Even that gets me going after 20 years of fishing. Holy crap, he had me around everything. Oh. I'm buggered. That just shows you what six pound line can do. People say you can't throw six pound to catch these fish. You have just seen a 50 centimeter mangrove jack caught on a surface or on a six pound. He had me wrapped up around the stuff, took my time, get the tension on him, come out. Whew. That is what I wanted to catch today. Look at that. My whole leader is chafed. But uh, he had me buried. You gotta be careful these fish, they, they chomp on you. He's all tangled up in the net. Just give me a second. It's uh, on a sugar pen. He engulfed that. I'm pretty sure that I got that on film. But uh, wow, we. Here he is, he's off. Just uh, take my time with him. That is what I wanted to catch this morning. It just shows you as well, is how you fish these systems is you throw the same gear for all the fish in the system and they will all take the same thing. It just depends what's there and what's feeding on the day. But uh, this time of year, that is what you're trying to catch. A bit tangled up there. And catch that on surface is probably the best capture you'll ever see. Get these fish to hit them on surface is just insane. But look at that. That's a 50 centimeter jack every day of the week. Man, he had me wrapped. But uh, what a fish. Look at that. Wow, insane. I'm stoked. Get that on camera, it's even better. So let's try and get a few more. go hard. The difference of a jack is, you would have seen before, is that they use their strike and they use their energy up and then these trevs just keep going. They don't stop. They're a lot like a tuna. They have a, they're a pelagic fish and they just kick on their side. The biggest thing is, is, is right there, he's a nice big eye, is that you don't rush these fish a lot. Okay, you just get them out into the open like I did, and then basically just take the time on it. Let him wear himself out a bit, there's no rush. And, uh, target species number two for the day. So I've always 
can set the clients and you come in these canals and pontoons, if you can catch the three, Brim, Mangrove, Jack, Trevally, you're having a good day. And there we go. We caught all three in the first two hours. So well, that's a really nice, typical Big Eye Trevally. You can see here, typical Big Eye, caught on a soft plastic. Um, really good eating fish too. A lot of people keep these. They're one of my favorite fish. My son loves them as well. But uh, really good eating fish. You eat them pretty well that same day or same night. Fantastic eating. But uh, they've got a big mouth. Got that pelagic tail scoop, we call it. Built for speed, like muscle and torpedo. So there we go. Radio guys, so that's our third good species for the day. This is a yellowfin brim. That's a cracker for these systems. It's about 35 centimeters. Caught a little plastic, that one. I saw these fish cruise on the banks here. And then basically um, whole pack come out, awesome way of fishing. So um, these, these fish are scattered through these canals. There's thousands of them. So it just shows you as well that basically all these jacks, mangrove jacks, trevally, brim, all in the same area all take the same lure. A little bit different technique sometimes, but basically it shows you that they're all there. They're all in the same gear. You don't have to change your setup, you don't have to change your, your gear to target different fish. Use those three lures and you'll catch fish. So that's probably the 20th fish this morning. Really good fishing today, about three hours. But uh, we'll try and get some more. Here we go guys. Fantastic water. Water, probably over 30 fish. Um, caught a lot more than what I videoed. It's uh, just giving them a swim. You see, they're all pretty happy. A bit of a kick off. They're all getting released nicely. If you ever want to keep fish, you can. You can release them. Got no issues keeping a fair few fish. So, all those don't be fell. And uh, we get up the body way. Another brim out, come mate. And there's the jack in there. So this should be good. Let go of the net for me. And there he goes. There he goes. Watch out, there's a mangrove jack coming. <laughs> there we go. 